In today's Sharp Saturday video, we're going to take a look at the Gerber Freescape Folding Camp Saw. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. Like I said, in this Sharp Saturday video, we're going to take a look at the Gerber Freescape Folding Camp Saw. But before we do that, let me just go ahead and give a big thanks to the folks at Big Daddy Unlimited to let you know that this Sharp Saturday video, like all Sharp Saturday videos, are sponsored by Big Daddy Unlimited. And if you're not familiar with Big Daddy Unlimited, they are a membership buying site, which allows you to buy things that go bang and things with blades and, and all kinds of great outdoor gear at literally dealer prices. And I say they support that they sponsor this video. The way they do that is because uh, when, if you join Big Daddy Unlimited through my link, not only will you get your first month's membership for just 99 cents, but they'll also throw me a couple of bucks for introducing you. So it's a win win for everybody. Uh, they are a really great site. I, I spend <laughs> more money than sometimes I intend to on that site every month because their, their, their deals are just so good. But even if you don't spend a lot of money, if, if you just buy a few things a year, you'll wind up saving money. I, I save money every year. I've been a member for a couple of years. So you go to survivalonpurpose.com slash BDU. You get your first month's membership for just 99 cents. Check it out. See if it makes sense for you. I know it does for me. So anyway, uh, that's enough about Big Daddy Unlimited. Let's talk about this Gerber Freescape Camp Saw. And it's pretty cool. I think this thing has some definite advantages over some other folding saws that I have used in the past. So let me take you down to the old picnic table here. We'll talk about the specs of this thing, and then I'll try to, uh, we'll test it out and see if those perceived benefits actually exist in the real world. Okay, so here's the Gerber Freescape saw in its ready to use configuration. And a couple things I want to point out about this. First of all, the saw weighs just 14.8 ounces. So it's less than a pound. So it's not a lot of weight to carry for such a useful tool. You can see that it gives you just the ability to have a, a small bow saw. And one thing I like about it is, uh, unlike maybe like a Sven saw, which I've had for several years and I really thought it was great when I got it, but it has some definite drawbacks. The main one being that, uh, for example, if you just imagine this is the frame of the Sven saw, at the very at the front end up here, it's at, I guess the end away from the handle, it gets very, very narrow because it comes into a straight triangle. This extra piece here, this extra hinge here, Gives you some more room in there. In fact, you got about two and an eighth inches of clear space here and about four and a half inches right here. So in this area here is about three and three and a half, three and three quarters. So you got enough space in here to cut a decent size uh, log or piece of wood up and still be able to get some get some some actual cutting action going on. Now the way this thing goes down is, let's just show you, just unfold it like so. This folds around. This all goes straight like so. The blade folds all the way back into it, stores in the, in the uh, body of the of the saw here. Then you just flip this little uh, hook up, and it's a metal hook. Now, something also I want to tell you about the hook. If you need more tension, you can just screw this thing in. It's straighted right back there. So uh, if, if your blades get stretched or anything gets kind of stretched out, you can screw it in to provide yourself some more tension. But go ahead and fold it back, and then just snaps up just like so very nice handy little kit and in this configuration it's 13 and 7 8 inches long by about 1 and 7 8 at the widest point right here by about one and a quarter at the uh, thickest point right here so very compact and this will fit in uh, pretty much any you know day pack get home bag or whatever you could even stick it down in your pocket it's just going to stick up a ways so again to um to uh make it ready for action you just open it up like so Go ahead and fold these down like so. That's what I found is the easiest thing to do is just go ahead and, and push both those hinges to their uh, furthest position. Then carefully, don't cut yourself, take the saw blade. And this just uses, by the way, just 12-inch standard bow saw blades. Take your little hook here and open your, you got to open, open the handle up, obviously, Brian. Get your handle open up enough where you can catch it. Like so. <laughs> See, I told you, on camera, it's, it's a lot a little harder and then just pop that back and you see it puts that tension again if you, if you start losing tension you can just adjust that screw in and give yourself more tension now since it uses a standard 12 inch blade i thought it would be a really good idea even though it comes with an extra bow saw blade 
be a good idea to um, maybe keep an extra hacksaw blade in there. Um, and that would give you the capability to cut either wood or metal in case you want to put this in your get home bag or go bag or whatever. Just gives you a lot more versatility. The only drawback to that is all the hacksaw blades I could find, the hole here is a lot, a little, not a lot, but a little smaller than, than the holes on, as you can see, maybe, let's show you this right here. See that? It's a little smaller than the holes in a bow saw blade. So I think just a couple of minutes with a drill bit on each end of this would make that hole a little bigger and you could use it. So you'd have to modify the blade a little bit, but that wouldn't be very hard to do. And then you could have yourself a very extra capable saw. So anyway, that's the specs and details of this thing, how it all comes together. Let's see how it actually does that saw stuff. Can you see me now? Because I can't see anything but the sunshine in my eyeballs. But we got a piece of wood here, somewhere in the neighborhood of about three, almost three and a half inches. So let's just see how well it cuts this. Very good. So we'll cut a little bit more here. So maybe you can see this a little better now. I got it up in the air a little bit. Cut a <laughs> Try to cut a chunk of it off without cutting myself. Because I got a tourniquet, but I don't want to use it. <sighs> Trying to hold this up and squat and stay in frame for the camera. <clears throat> it makes it a little harder. Well, let me just show you. That's about, well, this is two and a quarter here, so it's definitely bigger than that, as you can see. So I'm gonna say it's probably three, three inches. Nice solid wood. They cut it really good. I like having this handle to really get leverage. To me, that's easier to use than just a little folding saw. Not that I don't like those, but this seems to be a lot more handy. Chuck Norris can do a wheelie on a unicycle. Okay, well, that was a little reasonably quick use test of the Gerber Freescape folding saw. And I gotta say a couple things I forgot to mention. First of all, I like the, the bright orange, I mean the bright green handle here. It makes it easy to uh, find this thing. If you, if you lay it down in the woods, uh, like I'm prone to do sometimes in the leaves. And like I said also, I think this motion here, you know, your wrist is normally up here. It seems like it's a little easier for me to cut this way than with your wrist bent over like that. You just got, it just, it, you have better leverage in my opinion and have a little bit longer stroke than most folding saws as well. So at under pound, I think this is a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good option for a really very versatile tool, especially considering that with just a couple of, drill out a couple of holes a little bigger, you can also carry a hacksaw blade in this. And there's room for both those blades in this back. So I think that makes it extra versatile. So street price on this thing is somewhere around 50 to 60 bucks. And um, right up front, by the way, oh, and this one is made in China. So i uh, got to go ahead and tell you that, but it's, that's just the way it is. But bottom line, I think it is a pretty good tool. That's the Gerber Freescape uh, folding saw. And again, thanks to the folks at Big Daddy Unlimited for being such a good friend of the channel. Remember, you can go to survivalonpurpose.com slash BDU and get your first month's membership for just 99 cents. Oh, and let me tell you, because YouTube does not like anything that goes bang, uh, they don't let me put direct links. So that link will take you to a page on my website where there's another link. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's one more click of the mouse. I know that's a huge, gigantic inconvenience for some people, but I promise you it is worth it. So anyway, that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.